Chair of the Military Committee, Chiefs of Defense of NATO Member States, Supreme Allied Commander Europe, Supreme Allied Commander Transformation, Military Representatives of the Member States in NATO. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you all to Athens for the 2021 Military Committee's Conference. I was not able to join you in person at the Hellenic Naval Academy last night for the opening ceremony, which I'm told was very successful. But as you know, I was hosting the EU Med Summit. Let me begin by offering our host, General Konstantinos Floros, a vote of thanks. I'm aware of his efforts to make today's event a real success. Ladies and gentlemen, your presence in Greece this year coincides with the celebration of the bicentennial of our War of Independence, a struggle that resulted in the establishment of the modern Greek state. Throughout our history, we have always valued alliances. Since 1952, NATO has been at the heart of Greece's defense and security architecture. The transatlantic bond that united us nearly 70 years ago is still binding us together in defending our collective security interests and values for a free, democratic, and safe Euro-Atlantic area. After all, NATO's strength rests in its values and principles, unity, solidarity, and respect for democracy and the rule of law. Today, the global security environment is evolving at speed in frequently unpredictable ways. This is challenging the strategic stability we have gained over recent decades. The situation in Afghanistan is a case in point, but it is not the only challenge. Dear guests, 2021 marks the beginning of a new cycle of NATO's adaptation, and the NATO 2030 Agenda sets the tone for that adaptation. As we begin the implementation of this new adaptation process, we look forward to receiving your advice and recommendations based on your expertise and professionalism. Greece remains a strong and reliable partner in the Alliance endeavors. In support of the Defense Investment Pledge and NATO security interests in the Balkans and the Eastern Mediterranean, as well as NATO's missions, operations and activities. We have also forged partnerships which benefit NATO security interests. They represent new opportunities for collaboration, connecting the dots and opening dialogue across the Eastern Mediterranean, North Africa and the Middle East. The challenges and threats ahead for all of us are so complex that no country alone could effectively address them. Cooperation between us all is essential, and cooperation continues to define our alliance. Once again, I welcome you to Athens and wish you every success in your collective efforts. Thank you.